guys, welcome back to Galaxy's Tables. Today I'm going to be doing my top five favorite like horses and foals. Um, so there is one thing. Um, one of my favorite horses is not uh, my favorite horse isn't actually in my barn anymore. I did decide to make it so Forrest wasn't in my barn anymore. The only reasoning is his material scratches super easily, and I just decided he was way too precious to risk scratching him any more than he actually is. I have had him my whole life, though, ever since I was like one years of age, I've had him, and it's kind of sad that I'm not allowed to have him, that I decided to move him out of my barn, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to start out with my fifth favorite Schleich horse and then go to my first, and then go up like that. Okay, let me get the Okay, so my fifth favorite horse is actually the 2020 Trackner Gelding. I have no idea why I actually, he's on my top five favorites. I just really like him for some odd reason. I named him Buck, and he's, I love his tail. That's one of the main things I really like. It's got so much braided detail. I like it because it's almost like he's got a braided tail, and then it just goes free. And also, his hoof detail is amazing. I love it. He has a ton of horseshoe detail, and I do think that it would look a little better if he had a star on his forehead. That's the one flaw, but otherwise, I do really like him. I like how he has three, like, I forget what these are called, but three markings on his, the, on these certain legs. I like that they, he has them like that instead of on all of them. Okay, moving on to my fourth favorite. Okay, something I did actually forget to mention, though, is I have mostly stallions and geldings. Those are mostly my favorites. No clue why. This is actually the only mare that is in my top five favorites. But this is Poppy. One of the main things I love about Poppy is the shading on her muzzle. It's super pretty. And I like how each of, ah, each of her legs has, like, a different sized marking. And I love her braided mane. I love how her mane's all bunned up and braided like that and then the tail's not i just think her tail has so much detail she's like a really dark brown in person and on camera she might look black but in person she's actually just a really deep brown okay on to the fifth or wait the third the third horse okay so i do realize i'm not saying the date and when they were made for all of these guys, but the only reasoning is I don't know. Like, this is Wind Dancer. He's one of my favorites. Um, he is a retired, but I love him. One thing I don't like is <laughs> he falls over easily, but that doesn't really matter. And, well, this bothers me, but I love his mane, but it's hard to get the saddle on, as you can see, because it kind of covers his back. So if you want to get him, make sure you have a like a western saddle like you have to make him his own saddle basically or you can just make a sizable one a and most likely will fit him i love him i love his eyes and how they're like that and i also love the shading on his muzzle i love his markings because they're all different all of his markings are very different i also love his very long swooshy like tail yet again amazing hoof detail and I just love how he has this giant white marking and then there's just a tiny one and I believe it attaches no it doesn't this one is pretty big but yeah anyway on to the second horse I do think ace was my second favorite last time I still Oddly enough, no matter how banged up he is, I just love him. I've had him pretty much my whole life as well for like nine years about. So one year less than Forrest, but I still really like him. Ace, the one thing I don't really like, this is kind of minor, but his legs are have that rubbery material. It doesn't bother me all that bad. It's just it kind of bothers me when he's standing and that happens sometimes just randomly. And another thing that kind of bothers me is how bad he scratches. But otherwise, I love how he has this 
diamond on his hindquarters. And I love how he has like white and then it's black. And I just love his adorable little face. I don't mind that I scratched him right there because it just looks like a little white marking in his nose. And yeah, on to the next horse. You probably can guess who this is. My, max, my mascot and spokes horse. The, I believe he's 2016 Tractor Stallion Apache. In my opinion, there's no flaws at all. There is none. I love how he has these unique markings. No other Slake has as unique of markings, and I just love him. There's something about him that I really like. I didn't put this horse in the video, but actually I'm gonna get up and get him. But I actually really like this horse. He's probably my sixth favorite, but I just thought I'd mention that. He's one of my favorites, but one thing I really like is that he scratches so easily on his muzzle. The only reason I like that is because it gets those little white dots on his muzzle. I think they're really unique. But back to Apache. I love his markings. I like how it's really dark and rich color here, and then it just fades really light. He's just a beautiful horse. Okay, and now on to the foals. With the foals, I did do six because it was such a hard decision, but... I love this foal. He's so simple and plain, but I absolutely love him. He is the Lippis Honor Foal. I love his little star on his face. I did name him um, Tommy. I don't know if it really fits him, but I didn't really ha Like, a lot of people were telling me to name him that, so I did. Anyway, he's like my, he's my sixth favorite because he's just really overall just adorable. I love his mold. He looks like he's prancing around being a silly little foal. Okay, and I'm going to get the fifth horse now. My fifth favorite horse is the, I believe the 2019, yes, the 2019 American Paint Foal. I absolutely love her detailing. I got her before she even came out. I love her. She's so pretty. I named her Lily. I love her little blaze and just how her um, face markings attach onto her chest markings. And then I just love her like mane. It's so pretty. And then her tail. I like how her mane has like white and cream color and then it's just plain palomino on the tail. And amazing hoof detailing as well as the adults. All, all of the foals I have up here. I love their hoof detailing. Of course, I've had her for a really, really long time, so... Eh, the camera's getting fuzzy. But I've had her for a really long time, so she is kind of scuffed. Um, only because in my old barn, I didn't have much space. And she was in one of the really cramped stalls. So she was literally, like... I guess she couldn't even... with it. She was crammed in there with her mother, and they both couldn't even turn around. So that's why she's really scuffed, but... Still love her. On to the fourth horse. You probably can already recognize what horse this is. I don't know what year she was made, but this is the Nance Trapper Full, the old one. I named her Chip, and I don't know what it is. There's just something about her. If you look at her like this, her face is so adorable. I This doesn't really affect how much I like her, but I think it's really cute that there's like a little heart there. I love how she's brown here and then like brown on her hindquarters and then it's just pure white. I love how her mane and tail are different colors than her actual like base color. And I, she's really old. I've had her for like six years, but I still love her. And her, the top of her mane has gotten chipped, but I actually kind of like it because it adds to the white. Anyway, on to the third. This one is probably pretty obvious. I absolutely love this full rocket. The 20, I believe 2016 mini Shetland set. I don't know why. I just really like him. I really like him. I got him in 2019, the same day I got Lily. And I absolutely love him. There's something about him that is just so cute. I love his little black muzzle. And one thing is, I don't like how he's one solid color, but that doesn't really affect the way I love him. He's just so cute. A lot of people make it a 
of Philly and name it Spice, but I actually made it a cult and named him Rocket. I want to be really unique with him. I actually really like how he has the gray shading on the eyes. He's so adorable. Anyway, on to the second horse. We go from tiny to big, and my second favorite horse is the Tinker Colt. I named him Cloudy. A lot of people do that, but I actually really like him. The one thing is, though, this bothers me. I feel like it should be more like that, like all the other foals, instead of it being like this. Tinkers don't really have that. But anyway, he's really cute. I like his mold, how he looks like he's prancing around just being a silly little colt. And I love the pink shading on his muzzle. I don't know why, it just, it's awesome. And he just has really amazing shading and I love him. And the one who wins my heart is actually the 2016 Trekner Philly, Apache's Full. I actually have two of these, as you probably already know, Cookie and Daisy. This is Daisy. I personally prefer Daisy because of her markings on her back. Cookie has two lumps right here kind of bothers me and for this for cookie it had a deformity where it's all the way down with her on his tail i just love daisy i'll take off her bridle really quick it's really hard to do it one-handed but here here is her cute little face i love how she is gray it's hard to see on her i've got cookie his is really bold and i love it i really like this she's super realistic now I'm doing this favorite thing because I really like it, but I love every single one of my Schleich, and I think this was pretty hard to do the fools because I have a lot of fools, and it was also pretty hard to do the adults, but it was easier to do the adults because I have like I have more adults and I. I've already known what ones are my favorite, but it was pretty hard ranking them. Besides, I knew Apache was definitely my favorite, and Ace was definitely my second. But then, third, fourth, fifth, that was when it got hard. And in my next video, I am going to do a barn tour. I did upload one, but then I deleted it because I had realized I did change my barn quite a bit. So I will do an updated barn tour pretty soon. And I'll see you guys next time. And be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And be sure to go over to Jillian V's channel and leave a like on her videos. And just mostly subscribe to her. She doesn't have many subscribers. And that is actually my best friend Jillian is. So I'd really appreciate it if you would go and subscribe to her channel. And she'd really appreciate it too. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye!